Hey everyone, Ian King here with the Winning Investor Daily Weekly Update, and I am going to talk about a topic this week that I find to be truly fascinating, truly revolutionary, and it's all because of changes that happen in other fields. And before I get into it, I just want to ask, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like our content, please hit that like button and also feel free to leave any comments or questions below. We'll be sure to get back to you uh, in future webinars. But let's talk about this brand new field of synthetic biology. And it's kind of fascinating how it came about and how big this field could be in the next decade and the next couple decades. Now, there's something that happens in, in technology that is truly incredible. And that's when research in one field can then be applied to another field. And a great example of this is the lithium ion battery. It was developed basically uh, you know, for a small electronics, small devices, uh, mobile phones, smartphones have lithium ion batteries. And then the automotive industry uh, took a look at the lithium ion batteries and say, hey, we can just start making large lithium ion batteries and power our cars. And that's basically how the electric vehicle industry was created, thanks mostly to Elon Musk. But there's been another huge development in one industry in the genomics industry where the cost of sequencing a human genome has dropped in a way that you can never imagine. So it costs something like a billion dollars to do the first to sequence a human genome 20 years ago. And then by the time uh, 2010 rolled around, it cost about a hundred million dollars to sequence a human genome. Now, you know, the process costs about a thousand dollars, which is is leading to the widespread uh, use cases of CRISPR and all types of gene editing now that we can actually see and deconstruct the DNA. But there's more applications than just into humans. Scientists are now applying the same type of technology to deconstructing and creating new types of synthetic biology molecules. And this can be anything from creating you know, a new type of food that you can eat, a genetic or a genetically modified crop, or perhaps even a cosmetic or a new type of pharmaceutical by basically changing the molecular structure of yeast, which is, is very cheap to produce. And it just has incredible implications. I mean, there was a report that came out from McKinsey last year, and it said that the annual impact of bioengineering in the short term 2020 to 2030 economic impact will be about $350 billion. In the medium term, which is 2030 to 2040, this is going to rise to $1.6 trillion. And longer term, 2040 to 2050, you're looking at close to a $3 trillion economic impact. And the reason for that is primarily because there are so many people in the world that we might be running out of ways to feed them. So we're going to have to look to other ways to produce foods. Uh, that's number one. And also, in, in pharmaceuticals, how do we produce cheaper pharmaceuticals, cheaper molecules using synthetic biology? So those are going to be the two biggest applications of it. Now, when something happens in the world uh, that becomes a catalyst, there's more focus put on a technology that can help us overcome a problem. And earlier this year, when the Ukraine-Russia war uh, broke out, everyone was really focused on oil. But there was another key market that was impacted by Ukraine and Russia. You see, that area of the world exports about 30% of the world's grain and, and, and also all kinds of potash and fertilizer. And so back when the war broke out, you saw the prices of some of these agricultural commodities just go through the roof. And what it did was cause investors to start thinking about you know, how else can we avoid having these sort of grain and wheat shortages and food shortages in the future? And one thing that people look to is synthetic biology. So I believe that was the tipping point in the minds of investors uh, that in the future, synthetic biology is going to be a much bigger sector. Now, it's, it's very small right now. There are only a couple companies that you can invest in that are publicly traded. 
But we saw this with other industries like the electric vehicle market 10 years ago or the internet stocks 25 years ago, even crypto, you know, six, seven years ago, where it starts very small and there's just a, kind of a, a small buzz happening about it. But then before you know it, you know, the product is everywhere. And I believe that's where synthetic biology is going to be uh, some point in the over the next decade. And if you want to hear more about my favorite synthetic biology stock, I've written about it in Strategic Fortunes. Please subscribe to our newsletter. You can do so by clicking on the icon right here in the corner. So that's it for this week's Winning Investor Daily. Any comments or questions, please reach out to us. I'm Ian King, and I'll talk to you next week. Thank you.